to make a pose, a static pose, using IMVU's Studio Toolkit, we first need to make sure that we're starting from the default scene. So File, New, General. This will just clear anything out that's been manipulated or changed and reset. So once we've got this, we need to access the sidebar, View, Sidebar. And here we will have the IMVU Studio Toolkit panel or tab that we can click on to access the toolkit. So from the options, we want the animation tool. So click to expose and then click on append animation file. So we do not need to do anything to the scene itself. All we have to do is make sure that we have started from a clean scene. So file new general. The toolkit will drop in what's needed to create an avatar animation or avatar pose. So click the button and it'll drop in the bits that we need. So what we have is a representation of the avatar with a lot of control points that do various things to the avatar. So for example, if we grab this middle one, this square, press the G key just to manipulate, we get the avatar moving like that. And each one of these moves the avatar in a particular way, depending on what it is. And the ones for the elbows, and then we've got ones for the knees. So to pose, all we need to do is grab any of these control points and manipulate them or move them into position relative to the pose that we are creating. But before we do that, enable auto key, and this will drop in a marker into the timeline. This is the timeline which will form our pose. It'll do that automatically so that we don't have to keep doing it. So enable, click to activate, and then just grab these handles. So select and use our manipulation key. So that's G to move and R to rotate. And we'll create a pose. We'll just do a simple one for now. Grab, rotate. Do a zombie pose. And we'll drag one of the legs. And we can see as we've been doing this, so that's our pose, as we've been doing this, so we've been manipulating these control points, it's dropped in keyframes or keyframe markers into the timeline, which will form our pose. So what we need to do next is just save this. So file, save as. Find our location where we want to save the file. And then just save the file, give it a name. Animation toolkit test one, save as. Now to export this as a pose, we have a special option, make pose. Make sure that's checked. So click to check. And then all we need to do to export this is we have the export tool at the bottom here that's expanded automatically. Just click the export button. So click that and the tool will do the thing that's needed to export a static pose. All we need to do next is import this into Studio. 
So with Studio open, we need to create a new project. So create. And for this, we're going to derive from the empty mood because it's easier and straightforward. So we're going to select the PID. That's our search parameter. And we're going to type 10,945,930. Enter, and then we'll get the empty mood. Select, that's selected, so we've got our preview, and click Derive. And all we need to do, so this is the avatar, all we need to do is import our FBX. So from the Import button, click on that, we want Import FBX. Click. Browse to our file that we exported from Blender, which is Animation Toolkit Test. Select the FBX. Open. That'll go through the import process. So set up FBX. We don't need to do anything here. Everything's OK. So next. No materials. Next. It's picked up our animation. That's good. So review. So this is what it's going to bring in. Import. And it's brought in our action. So what we want to do now, click on component. Action. So click on that. We need to create a new action. So click the plus button. That creates a new action. And over on the right hand side, we need to fill in some of the details. So we need to set the trigger. So if we want this to play all the time, stance.idle. It's case sensitive, so that's uppercase I. Then click the ensembles button. It'll give us our pop up. And if we select the asset, it should have and it does, there is our sequence. So select to set that in place. Then we want to set the duration properties. So from frame one, frame five, and play infinitely or to loop infinitely. So zero. Replace is set. That's OK. We're going to scroll down to the bottom and set disable gaze. So we need to toggle that active and then click apply. So that applies the settings. And then obviously all we do is click the preview button. And there is our pose. And all we need to do next is save this and upload it to the catalog. So as an aside, if we wanted to derive from the female avatar, which is 80 product number, so this one, we can do that. So if we select that, gives us the avatar. There's a preview. Derive. We need to do the same thing again. Import our FBX. So click the button. Import FBX. Same process. Toolkit. Open. Go through the process again. Next. Next. Review and then import. But this time it'll do this to the avatar. So what we need to do, go into component, skeleton. We need to reset root node. So over in the assets tab on this side, on the right hand side, Select female 04 from the list, then click preview. That'll reset the avatar. So we can now assign our animation sequence. So go into actions. And this time we've already got a lot of actions and ensembles set in place. So for this, what we would need to do on the right hand side is set or replace. So we're clicking the more menu configure 
and then in the ensembles properties what we're doing is replacing the asset at the moment it's female 04 animation and whatever that animation sequence is scroll down to the bottom there is our replacement so we're going to select that change the properties of the start end number of loops replace disable gaze which is optional but we'll set it anyway and then preview now this won't do anything because we have to do this to all of these because we're replacing all of them otherwise what will happen is the ensemble will cycle through each one of the animations randomly and occasionally it'll hit our sequence and depending on the properties that we've set it'll play it so in this case it will loop infinitely but that's how you set it up for an avatar so let's just do that for each of these ensembles so that we can see exactly what we need to do so we're clicking on the more icon selecting config and then in the properties we're replacing the default or the original animation with our imported new sequence changing the start endpoints or the endpoint in this case and then just applying and just repeat that for each of the sequences that we have to replace But that is our custom pose made using the IMVU Studio Toolkit for Blender.